So at the end of our last tutorial, uh, we rigged a human character here, but Rigify is capable of a lot more than just human characters. It has a lot of features that aren't maybe immediately obvious when you start it up. So what if we wanted to maybe give this character a tail and more of an animalistic head, like a, like a wolf or something like that? Um, it's actually pretty straightforward as to how to do that. So we're going to turn off our main rig here and go back to our meta rig. I don't have a mesh pre-built for a character like that, so we're going to hide the mesh that we have here. And we're just going to deal with the meta rig. And remember, the me meta rig's only job is to um, allow us to kind of inform Rigify as to how to generate the main rig. So there's sort of two parts to this. Uh, we're going to add the tail by tabbing into edit mode on the meta rig and then going to our armature properties tab. And then if you go down here to samples, you'll see that there's a lot of parts and pieces that you can add here. One of which is this spines basic tail. So if I add this sample, you can see it just comes in here. We've got this tail. We can kind of stick it out where a tail should stick out, sort of at the base of the spine. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to parent this first bone of the tail to the first bone of the spine. So control P, keep the offset. And that way we just kind of have the ability for, we, we're informing Rigify and Blender that this tail should move with the rest of the torso. Okay, so tab out of edit mode and we'll unhide our main rig here. And then we'll regenerate the rig. And now if we hide the meta rig and go into pose mode on the main rig, you can see that we've got this tail back here, this tail controller. And if we move the hips, it does move with it because of that parenting that we did. So that's pretty straightforward, and that's how you use those, uh, those samples from Rigify. Let's go back to the meta rig now, and we'll talk about how to make a uh, wolf's head for this, or how to put a wolf's head on it. Um, so if we go into wireframe mode, you'll see that we've kind of got two bones occupying the same space here. We've got a face bone. You can see the name of it up here in the corner. And we've got the top bone of the spine, spine.006. So basically, um, we need to get rid of some of what we've got going on here. So we're going to get rid of the face, the human face. We don't want that. We don't need the ears. And we don't actually need that inside face bone. So let's get rid of that. Tab out of edit mode. And we're going to add an animal. It's going to be a wolf. And you can see that's pretty big. It's good. That's going to be a really big face. So maybe we'll scale that down just a little bit. And if we stick that face on there, that's maybe right in between. Right about like that. OK. And we can see that those are kind of centered up there. So with the wolf, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to hack and slash in a different direction. We're going to just select everything except the face. You can see this bone here is still a spine bone. Um, and the face bone is actually down here. And you can see really clearly here why it's so important. Because all of the other bones of the face are parented to it. So let's get rid of that spine bone. Delete that guy. And then in object mode, we can kind of bring this face up to about where we think it ought to be. OK. And now I'm just going to use my, uh, my 3D cursor to place this face bone into the same location as the previous face bone. So let's just kind of move it back in here roughly into place. Oh, and I skipped a step. I have to select both of these and hit Control J. Kind of check my angles. That still looks good. Tab back into edit mode. So these are both part of the same meta rig now. So let's select this base, Shift S, and put our cursor there. Select this base, Shift-S, put our selection there. 
Now this might seem a little odd what I'm going to do next, but let's select the tip of the spine bone, Shift S, put our cursor there, then we'll select the tip of the face bone and Shift S, put our selection to the cursor. Now that made the spine and the face bone the exact same size, which can be kind of visually confusing, but we'll take care of that right here. I'm going to select this base again, Shift S, put my cursor back, then I'm going to select the tip up here, I can see right now I've got the tip of the spine bone selected, so I'll click again. Now I've got the tip of the face bone selected. I'm going to change my pivot point down to the 3D cursor and just scale that down, kind of like the old one was, so that it's scaling straight down from the tip, staying perfectly aligned with that face bone. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this face bone a child of the spine bone. So control P, keep the offset, and those are now parented. Okay, so now if I tab back in and I make my rig visible and I regenerate this rig, you can see that the face has taken on a whole different aspect. So let's hide our meta rig now. And let's just look at, now we have a canine face attached to a human body with a tail. So I hope that's helpful and I hope you have a great day.